Teacher Me and welcome sa ating math tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss on how to find the surface area of cylinder, cone, and sphere. When we say surface area, it is the sum of the areas of the bases and the lateral faces of the solid figure. So let's have first a surface of a cylinder whose radius is 5 cm and a height of 12 cm. To find the surface area, let us unfold the figure. Let us now determine the bases and the lateral face of a cylinder. As you can see, the lateral face of a cylinder is a rectangle. To be able to find the area of a rectangle, simply multiply the length by its width. Since our length is equal to the circumference of the circle or of the base, we are going to use the formula on how to find the circumference of a circle which is 2 pi r. So therefore, to find the area of the lateral face, we are going to multiply 2 pi r by its height. Next is to determine the basis of this figure. We have two circles as the basis of the figure. Since the formula on how to find the area of a circle is pi r squared, since we have two bases, multiply the area of a square by 2. So therefore, the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared, wherein pi is equal to 3.14. To be able to find the value of the surface area of this figure, let us now substitute the given values in the formula 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So therefore, we have 2 times the value of pi which is 3.14 times the measurement of the radius which is 5 centimeters times the measurement of the height which is 12 centimeters plus 2 times the value of pi which is 3.14 times 5 centimeter squared let us multiply 2 by 3.14 by 5 by 12 and that would be 376.8 square centimeter plus the square of 5 centimeter first and that would be 25 square centimeter so we have 376.8 square centimeter plus product of 2 and 3.14 and 25 square centimeter is 157 square centimeter and then add 376.8 and 157 and that would be 533.8 square centimeter so therefore the surface area of this figure is 533.8 square centimeter. Next to find the surface area of a cone whose slant height is 10 meters and the radius is 3 meters. To determine the surface area, let us unfold the given figure. So again, when we say surface area, it is the sum of the area of the lateral faces and the area of the base. So since we have the lateral face, the circumference of the circle is equal to the measurement of this side. This curved side would be 2 pi r. And then we cut it into 2, so it will form this figure. Since the measurement of the side of this curve is 2 pi r, and then the half of it is pi r. R. Let us cut this figure in the form of parallelogram and that would be this figure. Since the measurement of this side is the slant height, that would be S, and this side would be pi R. So to find the area of this figure, we have pi R S. Or multiply the value of pi by the radius by the slant height. Next, after finding the area of the lateral face, let us now find the area of a circle. Since we have one base, to find the area of a circle is 
pi r squared. So therefore, the formula on how to find the surface area of a cone is pi r s plus pi r squared, wherein the value of pi is 3.14. Let us now find the surface area of this figure. So let us use the formula pi r s plus pi r squared. Let us now substitute the given values, the value of pi which is 3.14, the measurement of the radius, which is 3 meters, and the measurement of the stand height is 10 meters, plus the value of pi, which is 3.14, times the square of the radius, which is 3 meters. So multiply first 3 and 10, that will be 30 square meters, plus the square of 3 meters, that would be 3 meters times 3 meters. And then 3.14 times 30, that would be 94.2 square meters plus 3.14 times 3 times 3 meters, that would be 9 square meters. So we have 94.2 square meters plus the product of 3.14 and 9, that would be 28.26 square meters. So a total of 122 0.46 square meters. So therefore, the area of this figure is 122.46 square meters. The surface area of a sphere is four times the area of the circle with the same radius. We all know that the formula on how to find the area of a circle is pi r squared. Since it has four circles, multiply the area of the circle by 4. So that will be 4 pi r squared. So to find the surface area of this figure, simply substitute the given values. So 4 times the value of pi, which is 3.14, times the square of the radius 3 meters. So let us multiply first 3 times 3. We have 9. And then multiply 4 by 3.14 by 9 and that would be 113.04 square meters so a total of 113.04 square meters so the surface area of this figure is 113.04 square meters so let us now solve board problems we have four steps on how to solve board problems we have the step one is to understand by knowing what is asked and what are given. Next is to plan, wherein you can illustrate the given figure and determine the formula needed. And then we have the step three to solve. And lastly, we have step four to check and look back your answer. For example, we have. A can of fruit juice shaped like a cylinder has a radius of 7 cm and a height of 25 cm. Find the surface of the area of the material of which it is made. Let us understand the given problem by knowing what is asked. So the surface area of the material and then the given are the radius which is 7 cm and the height of 25 centimeters since the shape of the can of a can of fruit juice is a cylinder and the measurement of the radius is 7 centimeters and the height of 25 centimeters now let us determine on how to find the surface area of the cylinder so the formula that we are going to use is surface area is equal to 2 pi r h plus pi r squared. So we are going to use the formula 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Let us now substitute the given values. So we have 2 times the value of pi which is 3.14 times the value of radius which is 7 centimeters times the value of height which is 12 centimeters plus 2 times the value of pi 3.14 times the square of the radius which is 7 centimeters. So multiply 2 times 3.14 times 7 times 25 and that will be 1,099 square centimeters and then the square of 7 centimeters is 49 square centimeters. 
So we have 1,099 square centimeters plus the product of 3.14 and 2 and 49 and that, and that would be 307.72 square centimeters and then a total of 1,406.72 square centimeters. So therefore, the surface area of the material is 1,406.72 square centimeters. Let's have another problem. A ball made of rubber has a diameter of 20 centimeters. What is the surface area of the rubber material of which it is made? So to understand the given problem, let us analyze by identifying what is asked. So we are going to find the surface area of the rubber material given is 20 centimeters, which is the diameter of the sphere. Let us use the formula 4 pi r squared. And then substitute the given values. We have 4 times 3.14. Since the radius is half of the diameter, we are going to divide 20 by 2. And that will be 10 centimeters. Multiply first 10 centimeters by itself twice. So that would be 100 square centimeters. And then multiply 4 and 3.14 and 100, and that would be 1,256 square centimeters. So therefore, the surface area of the rubber material is 1,256 square centimeter. A paper party hat has a slant height of 12 inches and a diameter of 8 inches. How many square inches of colored paper would be needed to cover this hat okay let us now find let us now understand the given problem by knowing what is asked and what are given so we are looking for the square inches of colored paper would be needed to cover this hat and then the given is the height of 12 inches and the diameter which is 8 inches since a paper party hat is in the form of a cone let us use the formula pi r s plus pi r squared. So let us now substitute the given values in the formula. The value of pi which is 3.14 and then the value of radius is since our diameter is 8 inches, we are going to divide 8 inches by 2 since the radius is half of the diameter. So that would be 4 inches. And then the slant height would be 12 inches plus the value of pi, which is 3.14. And then the square of the radius, which is 4 inches. So let us now multiply. 2 times 4 times 12 is 48 square inches plus the square of 4 inches, that would be 16 square inches. And then we have multiply 150.72 square inches plus the product of 3.14 and 16, that would be 50.24 square inches. And then a total of 200.96 square inches. So therefore, 200.96 square inches of colored paper needed to cover the hat. Let's have an activity. Solve the following problems. Write your answers in the comment section.
The answer for number one is the surface area of the table tennis ball is 5,024 square millimeters. Number two, the surface area of the tumbler is 942 square centimeter. And lastly, we have the surface area of a cone is 395.64 square centimeters. Thank <laughs> you.